I'm Dave Mosher with Discovery Channel, and we're here at University of Arizona to see what the Phoenix Mars Lander is all about. So this is a, just a, a scale model replica, I guess. What is the Phoenix Mars Lander? It's a lander going to the north polar region of Mars. This is a new place that no one's ever been to before or seen before from this level. We're going to be looking at um, water ice that we know is within the first three feet uh, beneath the surface of Mars. So tell us a little about a bit about how you're going to actually get into that dirt and what the spacecraft is going to do. First, once we touch down and the solar arrays deploy, um, we'll use the robotic arm and um, we can extend it seven feet out and it can dig down uh, up to about three feet. It will acquire a sample in the scoop here and then the, the scoop in the arm can deliver that sample to our science instruments, um, our first one is our thermal and evolved gas analyzer. It's basically an oven uh, that will heat the sample up to a thousand degrees centigrade and turn it into a gas. We'll pipe that gas into um, another test piece called the, um, uh, the EGA, the um, evolved gas analyzer. And it's basically a mass spectrometer that can pick out um, exactly what elements and compounds and molecules make up that sample. I'll talk about the other science instrument, which is called the MECA. And essentially, it's a, a wet chemistry experiment. They have uh, four different cells that they can dump samples into. What are some other really important pieces of this? I'm seeing like a camera up here. This is our last camera called the Surface Stereoscopic Imager, or SSI. It also has um, two eyes, so it'll actually be able to take stereo images much like the human eyes can. And so we'll be able to generate 3D images of the surrounding area and be able to determine depth and distances based on that. This is the LiDAR um, and this will shoot a green laser um, up into the atmosphere and the green light is optimal wavelength for interacting with dust particles and possibly water particles from clouds and carbon dioxide particles from the carbon dioxide clouds in the atmosphere. The other half of the meteorological station is this mast here in front, um, in front of us. It's got three temperature sensors. You can see them off to the side here. Um, so we, we can actually determine temperatures at three different heights above the surface. And the point of all this, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is to see if this part of Mars was once habitable. Yes, the, the habitability of this zone, uh, whether past, present, or future. Uh, there are signatures um, that if there was life there, they would leave behind. And there are also signatures that we can investigate that could point to future habitability. You know, if the water is not too acidic or, or not, you know, if the water is just right, essentially, um, maybe, maybe humans could use it for manned missions.